Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're looking at some additional issues that I've seen brought up in various comments, replies, and requests, but which I haven't already done videos on. Last time, we talked about some problems with Calvinism, and this time, do we need to be satisfied? As always, let's begin with the appropriate definition. The definition of satisfaction begins with the concept of giving satisfaction for sins, but afterwards, fulfillment of a need or want, contentment or gratification. Gratification can be easy to obtain, and fulfilling needs and wants, at least in the short term, is usually easy if you have enough money, depending on what that need or want is. It's the middle understanding, contentment, that's hard, because contentment is about happiness and fulfillment, needing nothing else to be happy. In short, perfection. There's certainly evidence for this in the Gospels. Be you therefore perfect, as also your heavenly Father is perfect. Matthew 5.48 However, this is said in the context of telling the disciples how to behave towards others, so it's more likely to be related to our conduct than our happiness. Are we expected to be fulfilled in this life? In the world you shall have distress, but have confidence. I have overcome the world. John 16:33b. In other words, we're not expected to be fulfilled in this world. However, his Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Because thou hast been faithful over a few things, I will place thee over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Matthew 25:21. God rewards the faithful with the joy of the Lord. Like all other things about God, God's joy is perfect. Therefore, it brings perfect fulfillment to us, no matter how great our needs may be. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and death shall be no more, nor mourning, nor crying, nor sorrow shall be any more, for the former things are passed away. Revelation 21.4 If that's not a description of total fulfillment, I don't know what would be. Immortality by itself would remove countless problems that people suffer from in life, like starvation, exhaustion, restrictive time limits, medical expenses, and so on. However, to be immortal with God is to have access to the source of ultimate happiness. So, do we need satisfaction? Delight in the Lord, and he will give thee the requests of thy heart. Commit thy way to the Lord, and trust in him, and he will do it. Psalm 36-37, 4-5. Next, why the Old Testament animal sacrifices? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.